This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I've wanted to check out one of these for quite a while. My good buddy Phil from down the road uh, said he'd send me this. So he's sent me this in the post to check out. It's a Milkman 100. Now I looked at the price of these. I remember these being quite expensive. Uh, I looked at the price. It's got milk in it. Milk bottle, because it's Milkman, obviously. I looked at the price again, and they're now eight, uh, 900 pounds new, which is, not an insubstantial amount of money. What's cool about them? Milkman, I think, makes some incredibly good sounding stuff. Uh, my experience with them has been, I think I played Jake's, had a, a Milkman creamer, like a 20 watt amplifier. Uh, I've played also the Mix Wave. This does have an album, in, uh, album? tube in it. Uh, we've got a speaker out. Uh, we've got a ground lift, a cab sim on or off and a balanced output. Let's see how it sounds. It's a lot of money, I think, but if it sounds good, then it's sort of similar sort of price to what you might pay for like a, a Fender Tone Master uh, amplifier, but it's actually got tubes in it. Let's see. I'm gonna plug it in. We'll do some uh, honest kind of first impressions. I'm expecting to be impressed, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, nice size. Uh, for scale, there you go, something like that. HX stomp there, so a little bit bigger than an HX stomp, smaller than an FM3, uh, sort of quad cortex ish. Right, let's see how it sounds. I guess that's more important. Okay, we're turning it on here, and I've got my buddy Jake's pedal board here. Um, Okay, here's 
is a bit of reverb. kind of thickness to the tone right uh, let's take the gain up a bit here with the reverb. kind of squish to it I think kind of preamp gain there
produced. It's just simple, works, plug it in, get some tones. Balancing that boost could be potentially a bit tricky. Just with the one knob, it might be nice to have gain and level. In pretty much everything about it. Tube screamer up front. Sorry, I've got a compressor on, that's why. with that boost maybe. Um, compressor. Tube screamer. a little bit dark. So, fair amount of head. 
bedroom there. Plenty of volume for like a, a smaller gig to medium gig. Uh, I mean, stage volume these days are not generally going to need you to be louder than this. Generally does what it should, sounds really good. I think even down to that boost. All round, I think uh, a really good sounding unit. Um, possibly, I, I think I prefer that to what I've experienced with the Tone Master amps from Fender. Um, yeah, a really decent little thing. Um, any negatives? I guess there's the price, right? There's no effects loop, but it's more of a kind of clean pedal platform anyway, so you might not need that. Uh, yeah, I think generally I can... This could be something you'd easily chuck in a suitcase for a fly rig. Plug into a cab like I have here, Mezaboogie EV12. Sounds really good. Pedals sound good in front of it. It's got enough headroom that it's sounding good. Anyone else got any experience with this? Let folks know in the comments. Uh, I'm sure other people would like to hear if you've got positives, negatives to do with it. I think Quilter may make something like this. Quilter did ask me in an email to, to get in touch with them. I don't know what they want to discuss, but let me know if you're interested in me in trying to demo some Quilter stuff. Cheers for now.